All right, today we're taking a look at the Bouge RV Sunflow 30 amp. Let's get this over to the workbench, hook it up, and try it out. All right, let's see what comes in the box. This guy here. Nice and thick. Looks like it contains a lot of information. Controller. Foam here. Temperature sensor, and I'm not sure what. We'll have to look in the manual and see what this stuff is. Look at the temperature sensor. And some spade lugs to hook it up. Let me pop off this little beauty piece here. A little flap. These spade lugs will go on to here. Nice thick heat sink here. All right, here we're looking at the Bouge RV Sunflow 30 amp. And setup is really easy. As you can see here, the only thing that is unusual from other controllers is that the the battery positive and negative is split between the load goes between the two, which is unusual. But other than that, everything is very simple. It uses the uh, fork or spade type connectors, which it, it does include. It has this nice little flap and this little decorator thing to make it look really nice. And set up a super simple. As you can see, this here is going to the battery. I have it to a breaker switch. Goes right here. Follow this up and over to the battery's positive. Our battery negative comes down here and plugs into the battery's negative. These here are for the solar panels, which I have a on-off switch here, circuit breaker. So I'll go ahead and flip this off or flip this on and you'll see right there the, between the solar panel and the battery a little light comes on indicating that you have uh, solar input coming in. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app. All right, what we're looking at here is the app that comes with it. It's called Solar App and I down, found it in the app store. It's a little difficult to find in the manual. Um, so the first thing we want to do, we see we've got 85 watts coming in here. It's about 1030 in the morning on a beautiful sunny day. It's a 100 watt panel outside. So what we had to do is set up here with a little gear icon at the top. I touch that. You see I'm on a LIFO4 uh, lithium iron phosphate setting. We go into the charge parameters here. And one of the beauties of this particular controller, and the reason that I got it, is because it has the low temperature protection, which my batteries do not have. And over the winter, we've had several freezes, and I was a little paranoid about it. So you want to set this lower limit for charging here to zero. At least that's how I'm doing it. And then when it's freezing, it'll stop charging, and that will help protect your batteries. You don't want to lose a, 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 your most expensive investment is your batteries. So it's a really important feature, and I don't know why more charge controllers don't do it i think they should all have it but this is one of the few that do so it's just an excellent choice and bouge rv is a really good brand i would highly recommend any product pretty much from bouge rv so there you go you can set uh again we can go into the charge parameters. there's lots of settings here i'll go scroll through them so you just can take a look this is how i have mine set up I don't use the load uh, feature, but that's nice to have where you can run 12-volt uh, accessories off of a timers and all sorts of things. There's, diff there's different modes here for the, uh, for the load settings. Again, I don't really use that, but it's, it's a nice feature to have. So there's our real time of what's happening right now.
my battery is certainly currently 13.7 volts and we have our history that keeps track so that's nice it's a really nice app it works really well check for updates firmware okay Oh, I don't have that downloaded or whatever. I guess you can download something if you need to and update the firmware. So that's nice to know that if there is a firmware update, you're going to have the ability to update this device as well. Again, a lot of other controllers don't have such a feature. If you're just getting started in your solar journey, or even if you've been at it for a while now, and you've just been bitten by the solar bug like many of us have, I've created a series of videos that are easy to follow, step-by-step -step guides for beginners on how to hook everything up and build your own simple 12-volt DIY solar power system that you might be interested in. I intend to make a whole series of beginner-friendly videos like this, and I'll be adding them to a playlist as I go along. I'll also be working on a set of 24-volt related information very soon as well. You can find the playlist for this ever-expanding video series by clicking on the playlist right here. If you're enjoying my videos, a simple and easy way to let me know that is to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd also love to hear about your thoughts in the comments down below too. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.